Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how to use Relax.js to implement true parallax scrolling effects in Oxygen. Relax.js is lightweight, uses vanilla JavaScript, and is incredibly easy to implement for effects like this. You can see that we have parallax scrolling, which basically means some of these elements scroll faster or slower than others. So to implement this, it's very, very easy. We're gonna jump into Oxygen, where I already have a basic design set up that's gonna look really nice with some parallax scrolling. So the first thing we need to do is add a code block. So let's drop in a code block, and I'm just gonna put it right up here at the top of the page, and I'll rename it so that I know later what it's doing. Parallax. And then in the PHP and HTML editor, we're gonna drop a CDN script tag to include the parallax.js library. And I'll make sure that this link is available in the video description as well. Once that's done, we're also gonna to need to go to the JavaScript editor and we're gonna drop in some initialization code here. And I'm gonna paste this in, but then I'll describe exactly what it's doing. But first, we wanna make sure that the document is loaded before it tries to initialize the relax code. So I'm gonna do jQuery document ready and then run a function in there and that's where we'll initialize. Otherwise, you will get errors. So let's paste that in. And basically we're declaring a new variable called relax and that's a new instance of relax. Right here we're defining the class that we're gonna apply relax's effects to. So it's just a relax class. So we need to make note of that so that we can add that to the elements that we want parallax scrolling for. And then after that, we just have an array of settings. So you can see here that the default speed is negative two. We have some centering wrapper settings. There's a lot you can dig into and they talk about all of these things on their GitHub or at dixonandmo.com slash relax. So we don't need to actually adjust any of these because we're gonna use data attributes to manipulate the speeds and things like that on the individual elements. So now our code is all set up. Let's go ahead and save, and then we can jump in and start manipulating the speeds of these elements as we scroll. So we're gonna leave this text at the default speed of negative two, but to make this a parallax element, we have to add that relax class. So we click the ID and then start typing relax and click add class. And so now this is treated as a parallax element, but we want these little squares to scroll at different rates. So let's start with this big one over here and we're going to add a class of relax here. And if it's already in your install, you'll see it in the suggested class list. You just click that. And then to manipulate the speed, we need to use data attributes. So let's go to advanced attributes and click add attribute and we're gonna do data dash relax. Remember that's with two L's dash speed. And this is where we can determine the speed. So if we want this to scroll really, really fast, we can set it to something like 10. Let's just look on the front end and see what that looks like. Now, as we scroll down, you can see that element on the left hand side is scrolling up much faster much faster than it should be, which is actually an interesting effect. I think I'll leave it. So then the rest of these elements, we need to do the same thing. So we'll select this div, add the relax class, go to advanced attributes, add an attribute, data, relax, speed. And we'll set this one to something a little bit slower, like two. And then this one here, let's do the same thing. Go to advanced attributes, add attribute, data, relax, speed, and we'll set it to maybe three. And then let's play with these two, add the relax class, advanced attributes, add attribute, data, relax, speed, set this to six. And then the one on top of it, let's make it kind of slow. So maybe we'll leave that at default. Let's jump up and look at what this looks like. And there's the effect that we've just set up. Obviously, this is a very simplified version of what you can do with a library like Relax. 
But once you know how to set it up within oxygen, the sky really is the limit. And you can do some really interesting and creative things with this type of effect. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. And that's how to use Relax.js to achieve a true parallax effect in oxygen. Thank you for watching.